the holy Sukhiasans. They all lived at the king's court. They came to Armenia with the queen Satanik, which was chosen by the king Artashes as his wife from Alanian countries. When Sukhiasans heard holy Voskians preaching, they decided to let the gospel in their soul after realizing how pointless world life, life is. They resigned their professions and started living the life of a hermit. From the king's sons, two of them with the elder Artabas went to look for the tribesmen of their mother and right after they found them, they begged them to intercess for Voskians. But after their cooperation, Sukhiasans even more prayed to the god. Because of that, the holy Voskians were killed, but Sukhiasans stayed alive because of their connection with their mother. After their bodies were consigned to the earth, Sukhiasans went to the mountains of Jarabashk, province of Bagravant, a region of the old kingdom Greater Armenia. They lived there for 44 years, eating only plants and once their clothes became shabby, they stayed naked until their hair covered their body, protecting them from the sun and cold. But years later, Satan tried to bring them back to the palace, so he found a warrior and he forced him to torture them. But he saw that they had so much patience and strength that he decided to execute them. He left only two persons, they were so weak that he decided to leave them alone. After 150 years since they were executed, Saint Gregory the Eliminator, in the name of their memory, built miraculous spring that heals a lot of diseases and saves life of sick people. Memory of the Saint Sukhiasans celebrates every Tuesday after Arachavot.